Hey guys, what is up? Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency video. If it's your first time to the channel for daily news and information on the digital asset space, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get right into it. So I hope everybody had a good weekend here. It is Sunday afternoon where I'm at, so I'm just getting back to another video after enjoying some time in the sun yesterday. But let's kick things off with some XRP info. So first thing, strictly crypto. The people People are still underestimating the deal between MoneyGram and Ripple. This is huge for the whole crypto space as a whole, and people still think XRP is a scam coin. This scam coin is being adopted by actual payment processors. I, for one, am looking forward to the future of XRP. Exactly. MoneyGram, second world largest money transfer service. This is a huge game. This is a game of chess. This is not mere checkers. This is not a game of you know penny stocks and, and gambling like everybody thinks. We are watching some huge players in this market, and I'm going to go through some articles in a bit here about how big this truly is. Next, Eric Dadun at Eric, and then it's D-A-D-O-U-N. So your token of choice isn't going to succeed because of the price's latest up or down move of a handful of percent. Your token of choice is going to succeed because there are real teams behind it solving for real problems. Investing, Invest accordingly. Biddle, zoom out, long game. Keep that in mind. Everybody is just looking at these prices. You have to zoom out. Anybody that's just looking at daily gains of 5% fluctuations, even 15% fluctuations, in this volatile space, that means nothing long term. It's about what projects are going to be surviving and thriving long term and which ecosystems survive and are built upon in the future. And that is where the true price appreciation will come from utility. Right now, this is a speculative market. And you can gamble, but I am putting the majority of my holdings in the most legitimate project. XRP DT at XRP DT. So this is just his opinion. Always like, you know, respecting other people's ideas and considering them because nobody really knows, including me. So lower than 24 cents would be an accurate title here, but it will happen in my opinion. Just amazes me all the goofs that pump false hope every day, have thousands of followers. And um, well, true. But again, what I wanted to say is I personally cannot see XRP this year going below 24 cents. 2018's all-time low for XRP was 25 cents. I believe that, again, as I say, and Galgatron believes as well, is that that you know utility ground floor is slowly rising up, especially with this MoneyGram deal. I know we have not ramped up like we will be in Q4, according to the CEO of MoneyGram, Alex Holmes. But in my opinion, I think that there's just a lot of holders and mature people in the space as well, like you and I, that will be holding, and it'll be pretty hard for the bots and the whales to manipulate the price to get this low. But again, it's anybody's guess. I would not be selling. I, you know, If this happens, I'll be a happy guy. But again, I said perhaps this will be the effects of the storm, the so-called storm in air quotes, that we're hearing about that will come with the harsh regulations coming ahead before all this smooth sailing. So we know that there's going to be regs coming soon. Of course, there's going to be a bunch of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I'm sure we'll hear all kinds of fear on the news and manipulation to see how low we can get these prices, not only for you know these altcoins, but also Bitcoin. Um, and then I believe shortly after that, we'll see a lot of products launched so that the you know wealthy can really you know get things going. So just my opinion, not financial advice. I do not see us going before, below 24 cents. <laughs> With my luck, next week we'll be at 20 cents and everyone will call me an idiot. But again, nobody knows, and I admit that. And if, if so, I'm buying. I'm not going anywhere. If you guys sell, that's a personal choice. That's fine. I'll be buying it up. All right. And again, Eric Dadun. The more liquidity there is, and I think I covered this the other day, the more liquidity there is, that means the spreads get tighter. The tighter the spreads get, the more efficient that corridor gets. The more efficient that corridor is, the more comes through. It's moving. It's starting to feed itself. And that's exactly what this is like another you know, self-feeding machine and X rapid relies upon that tighter spreads. The corridor gets, you know, more efficient. The, the fees are less. It's able to settle X rapid payments a lot sooner within seconds instead of having to hunt through the, you know, all the order books or, you know, say an order, an X rapid transaction failed because there was not enough liquidity and the spreads were too wide. And again, if the spreads are too wide, that just means that it'll cost more per that transaction. And if it costs more per that transaction on X Rapid, why would a potential client want to utilize X Rapid? It defeats the purpose. So the slow and steady wins the race for X Rapid utility. I'm going to talk more about why there's going to be some bigger players in the game 
compared to just the mere remittance market that is going to skyrocket the price of XRP. And that is just my opinion, but again, we are connecting the dots here. We've seen steady progress. Do not tell me that XRP is a scam coin, a stable coin. It was worth fractions of a penny, and I've watched this market grow each and every year. There's bull markets, then there's a, you know months of consolidation, then there's bear markets, but each time there are higher highs and higher lows for the ones that are actually patient and have been here longer for two years. All right, and again, this article, I just want to go over this. So Ripple is one of the world's biggest and wealthiest cryptocurrency companies. Founded in Silicon Valley in 2012, the company developed the XRP cryptocurrency, which is specifically designed to make international payments cheaper and faster. It now uses the technology to help banks and financial institutions, FIs, with international payments. XRP is decentralized and freely traded on exchanges, but Ripple still owns 55% of the total supply worth, and again, when this was written, just under $14 billion. Now keep in mind, there is a method to the madness. There's a true business strategy here. This is not a scam coin. I've gone over this plenty of times and I'll, do, I'll go over this in another video as well. And although most of this is locked up in escrow, meaning smart contracts are holding this extra. And again, you know, the contracts are actually automated to release a certain amount to grow the XRP ecosystem each month. And then it resets, whatever isn't used goes back to, back into escrow. This is a, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. This is a true business strategy that is helping them get customers by the day. That's what I'm measuring. I'm measuring utility and, you know, speculation based off that utility, not just some coin that came out of nowhere, says this is a problem, we're going to solve it. Ripple, found a severe problem and is actually helping clients today and has been for years and it's slowly growing and they're getting their recognition. So it sold 250 million worth of XRP in the second quarter alone. And again, that's good. That's great to expand the XRP ecosystem. Ripple's also raised $94 million from investors, including Google, Santander, Standard Chartered and Silicon Valley venture capital from, did you say that Andreessen? I've heard it, Horowitz, giving the company a significant war chest. We're probably the largest investor in blockchain and crypto on the planet, Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, said. We've publicly announced we've made about $500 million of investments in the space over the last 18 months. So if we're investing, these guys are gambling on their success. I understand a company, you know, is taking a risk, but I know you guys think that this is just some, you know, multi-million, multi-billion dollar startup in Silicon. But if you look, you'll see Ripple, the private company, you'll see SBI. All of these are actually listed on the financial reports of the Rothschilds. You're going to look at the customers. You're going to see R3 wanting their slice of the pie. The rabbit hole goes deep. And, you know, granted, you might think I'm taking a gamble. And if you give up on XRP entirely, that's fine. I guarantee whether it's a few months or a few years, you're going to hear about XRP skyrocketing. You will come back to this channel and just know that you could have secured a small portion and just held for life. All right, Crypto Wizard, and this is just a good point again. What's all the stress with XRP potentially falling to 25 cents or lower? Why are you scared? This is beautiful. If XRP went to $5 tomorrow, we would be crying ourselves to sleep for not buying at these prices. If the buy, if, wait, it's the buys you make at these prices that set you up for life. Exactly. You don't just buy something and it goes up next week and then you tell all your friends you're a great investor. You buy when everybody is scared. You take that chance. XRP Shadow. Imagine having, imagine having early access to participate in the greatest wealth transfer of all time and complaining about fees. Exactly. Everyone will find a negative, you know, in something. And you just have to ignore that and surround yourself by true winners. This one is really cool too as well. I get all these comments in every video. I'm sure I'll get plenty in this video. So Bank XRP. Haha, <laughs> center story of my life. Add this year annoyances. And these are all complaints that, you know, are in all you know twitter youtube everybody that doesn't fully understand xrp the xrp ecosystem r3's role ripple's role sbi's role you know x rapids role as a whole in all the connections some people say oh no ripple has you know hundreds of customers but they're only using x current that's bs because x current 4.0 now enables x rapid or xrp transactions they'll say it's not x rapid which doesn't matter at this point again ripple literally said its strategy was to get everybody on x current and eventually roll out and utilize XRP. They'll say it's old news and it doesn't count because the documentation is from 2016 or 2015 or 2013 with different bank trials. Some will say, oh, not XRP again. Exactly what I said. People will say when moon because they just, you know, judge their investment by current price performance. They'll say XRP is centralized because of Ripple's business strategy 
in with escrow and releasing those coins and selling those coins to expand the XRP ecosystem for the greater picture. They'll say it's a scam coin, which is complete BS because we know this is the most well-established project. They have donated millions there with some of the top-notch people in the world. Again, I was just on the phone with somebody who works for a very reputable company in the investment space, and they said they just had two financial advisors this month put well over six-figure investments into XRP. I'm very curious what they know. Maybe it's completely speculation and they're taking a gamble like you and I. But again, there are things going on in this space. And again, and they'll just say ripple dumping. And again, that's releasing the coins in escrow. You're also wondering why XRP is more so a stable coin, whether Bitcoin goes up or down. In my opinion, XRP is actually already starting to decouple from the asset space because it is truly based on utility more and more. And it's just a matter of time for us. All right. And remember, guys, Bitcoin, it went from $6,000 all the way to $3,000. And then it quickly ran up to $14,000. What do you think XRP could do? Do you think we could see that same type of spike again? Very curious with, you know, future bursts. And again, I always keep an eye on, you know, different people's beliefs, whether it's TA, whether it's fundamental analysis, even, you know, the new term like cycle analysis that Awake or Mr. Level Up uses on Twitter. I'm not going to dismiss anybody. I'm not ignorant. I want to keep my mind open. I do not believe I'm wasting my time because I want to entertain different ideas because nobody knows what's going to occur. All right, and I believe that will be good for now, and I will cover another video on ILP and the Interledger protocol, but just wanted to give you a quick video update to start things off today, and I will see you in the next video.